Welcome back to the channel. A few weeks ago, I put out the video showing the three-way circuit in my garage. And if you remember, it was the three-way circuit was used to turn the lights on and off at two different places. So since I have two doors, then I wanted to be able to turn the light on as I come in one door. And then if I decide to leave out of the other door, I can turn the light off over there. And so I thought it would be a good idea to put out a video on a four-way circuit and what those are used for is controlling the lights from more than two places. You can put as many four-way switches in as you need within reason. And so if you had a big garage and say you had four doors, you could actually hook this up and put enough switches to where you can control the lights from four different places or five different six, however many switches you want to put in, you can control it from that many places. So here's a simple four-way circuit to control a light. And I caught a little bit of flack because I was calling this Romax. And the reason I called it Romax is because I don't intend for these videos to be used to train people how to do electricity formally. I just want homeowners to be able to walk into Home Depot and go talk to the nice old man and tell him that, hey, I need you know, wire for whatever I'm doing and you don't need to go in there and use a bunch of technical jargon. So since I make these videos for my friends and for homeowners that just want to be able to do this stuff by themselves, I'm going to call it Romex. If you want to crucify me on YouTube, go ahead and put it in the comments that it has a specific term. That's fine. So this Romex is the 14-2, so it has the two wires. And as another part of the circuit, just like in the three-way switch, there's, there's three wires in this 14-3. And the reason we need the three wires is because we need to use this traveler wire in our circuit. So just like in the other video, you have your panel box with all your breakers here in the middle and your two bus bars on the side where your neutral and your grounds are connected. These wires could have easily been put over here as well. So we have our breaker and you'll see the black wire travels along through the Romex up to this first screw. Now don't get confused when you see these switches. You'll notice on a typical single switch, you'll just have two screws on the side and nothing on the other side. And that's just because you're just controlling the black wire, but on a three and a four way circuit, you need special switches. So you know that this is a three way switch because it has the black screw where the power comes in. And then you have the two screws at the bottom for your traveler wires. And then if you come over here to the next switch, you have one, two, three, four screws. And that's important because all this, all this four way switch is doing is controlling your travelers. So as the power comes through into the black screw, it'll leave through one of these screws, depending on if the switch is up or down. So let's just say that with the switch being down, the power goes in this, in the black screw and comes out this gold screw. Then the power goes along through the black wire up to our next switch. Now let's say with this switch being down, it breaks the circuit to this other black wire over here. So now if we flip the switch up, it'll allow the power to travel through, through the screw and continue on in the circuit. And then we come to our second three-way switch. And you'll notice that the travelers are up at the top now. And these switches obviously, they're gonna be in a box or something. So I could have just easy drawn the circuit with the travelers at the bottom. I just chose to do it this way. And so you have the black wire coming in, hits the gold screw, and then depending on if this switch is up or down, it'll allow the power to go through the black screw here, through the black wire, and up to your light and complete the circuit. Keep in mind that these all of the neutral wires are always connected. So you'll see in my other videos how they were always wired up together. So they constantly form 
a solid connection all the way up to the light. And then it's just the black wire, or in this case, in some cases with this circuit, with the red traveler wire, if the power, depending on which way the switch is going, if the power is going to go through the red wire and complete the circuit. But the gold, the, the copper wire, the ground wire, and I just also showed this wire being green because sometimes you'll see these as green wires as well. And those are the colors of markers that I have. And so you've, you've kind of seen, I think if you've watched the other videos, you've seen how these are connected up. So really what you want to focus on in this video is how the power is being directed through these switches. You want to make sure that the wires from one end of the circuit are going to two screws on the bottom and then the wires from the other part of the circuit are going to the top and that they don't get switched because think of this as kind of an X as the power comes into either one of these you flip the switch it's either going to send the power to either other screw and if you get these wrong obviously your circuits either going to always be on or always be off so just one more look at this circuit before I get out the live circuit that I made. So of course, do all this electrical work at your own risk, and I'm sure some of you are not gonna like the next portion of this, but I did make a live circuit, and all I did is I just put a plug end on that I'm gonna plug into an electrical cord. So you're gonna come down, and the wire's coming into the black screw, and then you have your two traveler wires at the bottom, and then of course you have your whites hooked up, and your ground screw has a pigtail where it comes over and connects to the other two wires. Then you come down to your three wire where you have your travelers coming in the bottom of the switch. Once again, your grounds and your neutrals connected. I don't know how well you can see it, but behind here, the traveler wires are connected. Same thing on the next switch, connected up. Ground wires connected. Neutral wire, con wire connected. So the traveler wire is out of the second switch and into the bottom of the three-way switch. And then of course we have our black wire coming out and up to our light. Same thing with our neutral, up to our light. So once again, please, no crazy comments. I, I know this is a little bit dangerous. I'm wearing gloves that aren't gonna conduct anything. And like I said, I've used these a few times, so it's a little bit dangerous, but it's going to be okay. I don't have a use for a four-way circuit. I just wanted you to see that this is actually going to work. So let's say you set this up in your shop, and you walk into your shop, turn the light on, and there's your light. And then you go out another door, flip the switch, the light's off. Then you can come back in another door, Turn it on, turn it off, and then same thing here. So just one last little bit of proof. Turn the first switch on, turn the other one on. So one of the main reasons I wanted to make this video is you might have a place to where this circuit would be ideal for your situation. So we greatly appreciate everybody who has subscribed to our channel and we really appreciate the comments and the interaction we get with people. We're gonna keep trying to get better at this YouTube thing. I know a lot of the times I'm sitting there stumbling through things because I'm trying to think about stuff and trying to look in the camera, still getting used to that. But I hope we can keep putting out uh, decent content that people can use. And once again, we appreciate watching.